Do you know that saying, uh, when it rains, it pours? Sometimes people feel like that's a negative thing. I think it's a positive thing. It's like, it's just raining good stuff, like too much good stuff at once. Like sometimes don't you want to spread it out? Like you have, so that you have a little space to uh, have the excitement of each thing. Well, I tell you, <laughs> I'm Pat Sloan and thank you for being here in my neighborhood. I've got a lot of rain happening, physical rain outside. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Every single woman is a mom at some, in some way to somebody. Uh, and you know, I have a lot of things happening all at once, which means that I need to release things all at once. So all the fun stuff is happening. Uh, and I hope it's not, uh, too overwhelming sometimes it feels even overwhelming to me and I'm running it <laughs> it's like it's like how does all these things happen well can't we spread them out it would be nice spread the things out uh, maybe 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 in my second life my uh, <laughs> my fun things will be all spread out so I want to go through a couple stuff and here on the fireside chat and bring you up to date and share some things and then what will be happening with some of the uh, fun things that all will go like boom 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 and and it's uh it's exciting so f first at the end I'm gonna make you wait sorry I'm gonna make you wait <laughs> but see here is my next fabric line called Bonnie Lane for Banner Tex. and at the end I'm gonna show it all to you but I have to show you the other stuff first so uh, that's just that's just the way we roll and sometimes I know on Mother's Day do they I, sometimes I send my mom chocolate, sometimes I don't, like I didn't this year, but I have chocolates for myself. I'm not a mom, but I'm a, I, I guess I, I used to have dogs, so I was a fur baby mom, but I, uh, I bought myself uh, the Doves. Do you like these guys? These are the, you know, the milk chocolate ones. They have like little sayings inside. Right now the sayings appear to be like people saying stuff, like not like quotes. So it's interesting, you know, like things people say. So I have uh, some new things that came in that I wanted to show you. And then I want to talk, I had, a, I had a question, and then I want to show you some hexy stuff because some people asked me about that. So that will be what we're, we're gonna do. And I've got my rolling assistant over here with some of this stuff. So first I got the new, um, the April, the So Colorful. So the Fat Quarter Shop has a club and you can get every month a, co a colorway they send. So they're sending the colorways out. And they're just a gorgeous way to add to your uh, collection. So like if you feel like you're missing something or you just, sometimes people feel like they get in a rut. They don't buy uh, anything but what they normally buy. So like these great collections will let you experience some other fabrics that maybe you wouldn't normally have been, uh, you know, have been trying because you just weren't, wasn't in your mindset to think about them. Like, look at this one with the gold speckles. Oh my gosh, I just love that. And there's a lot of nice basics. This has got some gorgeous little stars. And lot other gold, like glittery stuff. A few more gold on that. Uh, there's just a whole variety uh, from light to dark and textures and everything keeps in these gray tones so there's not a lot of other color like here's some pink on that one but for the most part they're tonal you know tonal meaning they might be sh different and you know like levels of gray uh, or you know like here on the stars so like and then there might be some little sparkly stuff like this so like this this is pretty cool so that came in this week the other thing that I have to show you, and um, I mentioned it in my newsletter when I sent that out uh, a little earlier today, that I have a, another um, great nephew. My niece is having her third boy, so she's a boy mom, and I want to show you what I ordered because I want to make the little guy, he's due uh, in the fall. Uh, so early fall, so I want to make him a quilt and I saw this kit. Yeah, I think I showed you the pattern once before. Isn't that cute? It in it, it's flannel. That is the neatest part ever. 
course, I live in the South, but I think in the South, babies, I mean, they, you have air conditioning. So, you know, it's not like you're going to never need something soft and cuddly, but a baby quilt in flannel, come on, yeah, we gotta do it. So here is the pattern, it's called Blast Off. I will link everything up, but the kit has, you know, all the fabric in it for, for and the pattern. So if you buy the kit, you get the pattern. But it is so soft and cuddly and it's got uh, spaceships uh, on the fabric and little stars and moons. And so I just thought, and it's, it looks easy, it looks pretty easy. So I can hopefully whip that up for the little fella. We'll see, right? <laughs> so another thing that came in was this because I, I wanted, this has got grays and, and yellows in it. And let me show you because I will be doing a project and I thought this might work. So I had to get it so I could see if it would work or not. There are, um, might, might add some of the gray from that other bundle I just showed you. But I love the textures on there. Uh, there's like, look at this. I like that sort of vintagey feel. Here's another piece. Um, and then the yellow, there's the splashes of yellow, like in the flower. There's actually, a oh, there's dots. Yeah, I forgot about the dots. Where's the yellow print? They're sticking together on me here. So here's that yellow. And you know, I think this gray and yellow, I've always wanted to do kind of a, do a gray and yellow piece. So this is what I got. So hoping that that works out pretty well for me. At least I'm hoping. Uh, <laughs> you know, you get fabric sometimes and you have a vision in your head like, you know, I want to do whatever it is, you know, whatever it is you're planning. And sometimes it works out, sometimes um, parts of it work out. So in this case, like this might be a fabric bundle that kicks off and then I have to add in. Cause the yellow might need some deeper yellow. Like that's a little bit lighter yellow than I was envisioning. So I might need to add some more gold color yellows in there. So that'll be, that'll be what I do. The other thing is I had a couple people ask me some questions about things that I use or things that I'm going to do that I've showed you. So first of all, um, let me, I had some questions about how these really, you know, how I use them, how I use the stash and stow, because these are a product uh, that the Fat Core Shop developed and they're I've got this. I use two of them on my ca my desk is really big. My work table that the Solaris is in one end and this is on the back end. So this is what it looks like, and it is uh, stash the stash and sew by by so Emma. But they're whoops, they come in other colors too. So you don't have to have red. But there's gray and. Uh, they're, they're nice weight, they're heavy, so that that way I can put things in it and they don't fall over. So this is how I use it on a regular basis. I have rulers in here and scissors. So like you can put different things, just see it has these uh, sort of spongy, not spongy, they're rubber, that's the right word, the rubber. See, I can put my finger in there, see they move. And so you can kind of manipulate it how you want. And so I put scissors in there, but I love, love it for the, these square rulers because what's happening is when I am working, I want to be able to just grab these. I sometimes can't get them off the surface of the mat very well. And so I just like to keep them stacked like this. So I just pull them out and put them in. And then what I can do is I can keep a pair of scissors also right here uh, in the same unit. And it can take, let me grab one. If you like to put your rotary cutters in there, you know, you can put them in there too. They will fit just fine. Like if I were just going to have one ruler, let's say I was just gonna keep one ruler on the desktop. Now, if this freaks you out to put the blade up, you can put the blade down. So there it goes. See, I just have it push, because these things just push aside. So you can fit something fatter like this, 
or thin like the I put the blade of the scissors down in the hole so that's how I use this I mean this just stays on my counter and I actually like I said I have two of them so I have one on this end and then one on that end because this end over here is where my ironing board is and over there this here is for working so that's how that's how I use it uh, and they're super useful I mean when I first got it I was like hmm you know how how am I going to use this because sometimes tools you have to live with them a little while and then you figure out the best way so like I had one and then eventually I was like I need another one on the other end because I'm always doing things on both ends because the other little thing I have to show you um, oh no wait I show you something else wait, 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 wait. Uh, so this is the other thing people wanted me to talk a little bit more about the kit for uh, the Sweet Harmony kit that has the flag. And of course, because my fabric line was all coming and you all didn't know that, uh, one of the surprises, I haven't had any time to really crack this open. So you can see how it looks when it comes out of the box. I will just show you what's in here. The kits are always so beautifully done. These are packaged by Moda and it comes with the pattern and Sandy Klopp, my friend Sandy Klopp, does excellent patterns, so you will not have any worries there. This is a layer cake to be used for, you know, all the different parts. There's a lot of patchwork, but there's a little bit of applique, not a whole lot of applique, but just enough, just enough to make it sweet. And then you get another bundle, the other bundle of fabric, so it has everything that you need. And there's, these are the ones that are probably, you know, need more than a 10 inch square, which would be in the layer cake. So this is how the kit comes. And I seriously want to get it started by the 4th of July because I want to get the uh, flag. Just get the flag going. Here, I'll show you the front. But the box then can be saved. Like if you can put other projects, you know, you can put this project in there, in here while you're working on it. And then other projects as you go you know later on whatever once you're finished and I went ahead and got the backing which is the red um, the red floral so pretty so there that was something else people wanted to know a little bit more about so that uh, because I am I mean I've talked about it I showed it to you it's like this one and Norm Norm and Nanette the gnomes those two are the ones that I'm doing more for me and I'm showing you as I go along and so you you will see them periodically here and there it would be lovely if I could do both of them um, by the by the end of the year is probably I should probably be realistic I, I wanted to say end of summer but <laughs> I don't think so. Not the end of summer. I have a, no. There's another project I'm working on in the summer, and that will take some time. So no, won't be doing that. But uh, <laughs> I, I always feel optimistic. Do you do that? You feel like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I can do that. I total, totally do that. And then, uh, you know, real life and and real time frames enter. <laughs> I'm, I'm the glasses half full person all the time three-fourths full really you know yeah as I'm the positive person so I I want to show you the hexes but before I do that I got this little bitty I got this little bitty box look at this and it's teeny tiny scissors oh my gosh I got them because I saw them you know how you use cruise Pinterest or Instagram or Facebook and you see somebody's project well, I saw this little zippy pouch and then tied to the zipper part of the zippy pouch was this teeny weeny little pair of scissors and it was so darn cute and so I went looking around so here I am oh here I should just show you as I'm opening it right here I'm not being a very good per person here not showing you as I'm opening it. okay so when you open it you have uh, it's it's a nice you know nice little box it's got a little paperwork on it I have no idea why we need paperwork on it but it does and then here are the teeny weeny little scissors there they are how darling are they just like they're just they're snips actually you know so can you see them there you go so you just clump clump it's got a little spring in there a little zip and see on the end here is a loop see where the little tassel is so that's where somebody took their own, made their own little tassel and attached this super darling little scissor 
to the end of, and it has a little sleeve if you need that, but they just had it on for the picture like this, hanging, hanging on to um, the zip, the zip pull. So cute. So I, I had to have one because it's scissors, you know. I love scissors. I cannot tell you how many pairs of scissors I have, but I love scissors. You know, <laughs> I, I should count the scissors someday. 800, I'm sure. I'm sure I have 800 scissors. You know that's my magic number, right? I say 800, that means it's a lot. Rather than saying a lot, I say I have 800. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about that, but I think it's fun. So I want to show you, we got, okay. I wanna show you uh, the Hexies because I was talking about the Hexies and I think I've done this before, but maybe not, or maybe not recently. So I want to show you what what I'm doing here's the hexagons and I am putting them just on a gray square because I remembered yeah, I showed you this like should I put them all together should I put you know how should I do this and I've decided that they will how have a red center and then uh, they'll be all white or all gray or all dark gray so here's the dark gray one I'll put it on the background I'm just getting finished so the dark gray one will go on there. So I'm just getting finished on that one. And I wanted to show you the papers I use. They're, they're Helen Stubbings papers. My good friend Helen, uh, she does these papers that stay in. They're a, um, they're a fiber, they're a fiber. So they're not actually paper, but they're a fiber and actually one side is fusible, has a light fusible. And so these are the hexagon papers and you measure a hexagon along this side. So it's a one inch hexagon, and the one inch is the length here, not, not the actual physical size. So sometimes it sounds crazy because somebody would be doing a three-fourths inch, it's, it's the edge. So these little guys, I use the glue stick and a charm pack, mini charm packs. So let's, let me just show you how I wrap them, because that's the part. If you are used to doing regular hexagons, you know, on paper, you might find this a bit different and it may not speak to you because it's different. It doesn't act the same way. But because I have not done a lot of hexagons, you know, I don't really have that history, you know, of them. So here is my container. So this is what I'm pulling stuff out of. I've got them sorted by color. Here are all the raw fiber papers. I've got some wonder clips, little pair of scissors, um, some thread and all these little mini charms and a needle case underneath there. Whoops, there it is, needle case. So what I'm doing is I'm taking, now I could go to, if I had an iron with me, I could take this and take the shiny side. There's one side shiny and I could press it down, but I, I don't bother because I'm never really doing these by the iron. And then I'll take this uh, glue stick by Soline. I like the Soline glue sticks and I have extra glues with me. You know, there, there's the extra glues. So just in case. So I will fold these over now. You know, right now, this is my Hexi project. So I fold, fold it over, take the glue line, and you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever way, um, you know, your brain works. I do everything clock, counter. I do everything counterclockwise. That's the way my brain works. So I am, I'm doing the glue on the fabric and then across the fiber. And this is a lot of extra seam allowance but I don't care because these guys are going, these papers, get them over here. These papers are going to stay inside the shape and I will wash it and they will soften up and just be a little extra fiber in there. You know, it's, it's like a, it's like a paper type stuff. I mean, not paper. It's a fabric type fiber. So there we go. So now I'm just doing the last one and pulling it over. So you basically learn the feel of the edge of that fiber. So there it is. And he is finished. 
So it doesn't take very long and I have built, let's pull this out so you can see. So I've been working on my um, units <coughs> and I have a lot of, I've sort of got them sorted. These are all with hardly any color. These have a little bit of red. Then I have the ones with, that are all gray. And there may not be quite as many, well, there, there will be later, like this packet here has a lot of gray. Well, that's green. I'm not doing green, so those will come out. Those will go in my two and a half inch storage. And then I have the red ones. <clears throat> so basically, I have these packs here. And when these are made, I will see how many of these hexagons I have. That is when I'll be done. You know, like if I have an, 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 an even number, like I have enough, then, uh, then I'll be finished. If I need more, I'll make a few more. So, you know, really that stack of, the, you know, these stacks of these charms that I already have will determine how big this gets. Uh, if it gets close to like a certain size and I think, oh, I'd like to have a few more, then I'll just cut from my stash uh, and, and mix them in. But I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to fold a bunch up and then make a few flowers. I'm just, these are just a single, here's one in progress. These are just the single hexagon. Uh, they are, you know, not going and doing all the, you know, like you could do lots of rounds, you could do like a whole quilt, like everything is connected. But I decided I'm just doing this to, to relax, to have fun. So I'm just doing the singles. And I am, let me just stand up here. Now we don't have to scoot the camera back down. So you can see the back. So there is all the seam allowances and the fiber is in there, those papers, which I'll link you to everything. But what I'm doing is, let's see, get a little bit closer. I am stitching like on the back and I am not, you know, I'm, I put it flat and uh, the DIY addict has a video on this, so I can link you over to her video. But I am just stitching from the back, sort of um, just like a whip stitch, because this is gonna be on the back side. You're not going to see it on the front. So let me turn it over. So there you can see the front. Everything is done except for this one uh, piece that I'm coming through here. And I just catch a little bit on both sides and stitch. Of course, I'm right now holding this far away from me so that you can see it and I can hopefully get in the camera there. But that's how it works. And once this is done, I will trade it over. Whoops. Here we go. There we've got some blank squares. So I will put it on to center it on one of these and stitch that down. Now you can, there is an order. So if you're not paying attention like this, this can be put, this can be put so that, uh, you know, you can put it so, it doesn't really matter because it'll be one way. One side will have flat up there and the other side will have the dip on the side. But there's really no right or wrong and you'll eventually put them all together. Now can you see like in the video, this piece is really, really dark, which means a few of them are gonna end up like that, which I think is kind of neat because it makes them sparkle a little bit. A little bit of, uh, whoops, I knocked something on the floor. A little bit of sparkle in your quilt or you know, change it up so it's not always looking always the same. Okay. <laughs> That's that stuff. So let us, so they're, they're fun. I mean, I, I want to take, I think I'm going to take these on the trip. I'm going to take the hexagons. I could take the cross stitch. I am like far behind on doing any cross stitch. I am just, and I, um, that, you know, like I, I, I'm far behind on any kind of handwork projects. Uh, I've just not been doing handwork projects. I'm trying to get back into doing them. So that's what's going on with that. Uh, so I, but I think I'm going to take the hexagons on the trip to uh, Kansas City to the trade show because they're, uh, you know, to me, this is maybe just a little bit more forgiving. I don't have to think or count anything. It's just, there's no, you know, there's no thought at all that has to go into them. You just, you know, fold it over and sew, sew together a flower and then applique the flower down to the background. So it's really pretty easy. 
now, 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 you can meet Bonnie Lane. And I will link you if you have not heard, my next fabric line uh, is with Benertex. I am so excited. Uh, when I first started in this industry, Benertex, here, I'll hold it up. Benertex uh, was one of the first companies that gave me fabric to work with. You know, designers will do things for magazines, for their own patterns, for books. Um, and back, back then, uh, Benertex was the first company really to give me fabric to design with uh, for projects. And so they're near and dear to my heart. And I'm just so thrilled to be working with uh, them to do my fabric lines. Uh, they are an amazing group of people, very talented, based in New York City. Uh, so I was able to go to New York City and meet the entire staff, meet the design director that I work with, and of course I've known um, some of them since I started in this business, which is really is really nice. Uh, they don't work with a lot of different designers, so um, but you will know Eleanor Burns is with them and Nancy Halverson if you follow. Uh, so they have been. Uh, that's the same. Those two have been with Benner Texas designers, and uh, and now I join them. So I'm so excited. Uh, so I named this Bonnie Lane, and because you are watching my fireside chat. Bonnie Lane is a street in my neighborhood and everything with my neighborhood and is everything with my fabric line will be based around my neighborhood. All of those wonderful memories we have and continue to make in our own neighborhoods. Maybe we made as children, maybe we're making now for our own children, uh, just for ourselves. So our neighborhood is key uh, to me as a designer and to my fabric line. So Bonnie Lane is the first line and Bonnie Lane is my mom that's my mom's name and so I'm just like so I, I'm gonna I want to talk to her today you know it was so fun because I kept it as a surprise until um, you know it was all announced that's when she heard so she was like oh, so exciting so exciting so let me show you how how I did this so I'm gonna just pull these out I, you saw them on the web but you know what I'm just gonna show you in person. Like here is the main floral. And they all have um, names for each of the parts of the fabric line, like sitting on the front porch and um, you know, those kind of things. And, and I just, I haven't memorized them, sorry. So I don't remember which are which at the moment. My brain is a little overloaded. So next time I will get all that info to you. But this has a little shimmer in it. Can you see that little shimmer? It's called pearl, and so does this one. And then I have the dark pieces. They're like charcoal. This has got to be one of my favorites. Could you? This could be like a man's tie. I could really see that. I don't know how to make ties, but my friend Jenny Smith does. So I don't know. I might have to send it to her. Maybe she can make a tie for my dad. Uh, wouldn't that be cool? So I have, this is um, the porch awnings, you know, like my great grandmother had an awning like this on her house, this, you know, the, over the porch and it had all these stripes and that was the inspiration behind this one. Um, there is another floor, the main floral again in uh, coral, so like a really light coral. I just love this print, love that there's white flowers. If you've taken a class from me, you will know my obsession with white flowers. And then here's another little pearl. So I've got this cheddar, like a really light, 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 light cheddar. So that just accents everything. And then here is sort of a pumpkin color. And I like those little seed marks, you know, like it's nice, it's a nice texture. This is my scroll work, which I am so, so excited about. Really, really, there's my name on there. Can you see it? Yay! So I love this scroll work. I think it's so pretty and, and delicate. And all the scale is nice and usable. Nothing's too big. Here's a, here's a gray tone for that one. Sure. So now I have like these two. This um, comes in three different colors. Where is it in blue on the bottom? So this is like a tonal rose and my mom's favorite flower is a rose so of course for Bonnie Lane the homes on Bonnie Lane have to have lots of rose bushes and it comes in blue and cream and this very very pale pink which uh, 
leads a little bit towards coral. So here are the blues. Here's another one. You can see that shimmer a little bit more. I have lots of projects that you're going to see with all of these. <gasps> Look at the blue. This is what sold me. Sold me this shade of blue. When I started playing around with colors, that was it. That was like, I need that blue. And I've got the medium and I've got the scroll work in there it is with some the blue accent and you can see that little pops of yellow everywhere and that's why it's important when I design a line to have a little bit of those colors in there so and then here's the porch awning with uh, in blue two shades of blue so that's why the yellow is in here because it's an important accent that it goes with practically everything has a little bit of yellow peeking out you know same with the green so like if I moved it over there the greens go really well with that yellow uh, and the same with the charcoal uh, so I've got these shades of charcoal this is how you design uh, you have to sort of make everything have friends and work together so there we go eee! so this is it's so exciting I just couldn't wait to share it with you it's been a some things take a really long time, um, particularly, you know, well, it doesn't matter. Some, some things just take longer than others. And so this was a process of working through what I wanted and working with the design team and coming up with all the elements and then refining it. So here we go. We're kicking off with Bonnie Lane and it will be in stores in September. So if you would ask your favorite quilt shop to contact Benertex, contact their sales reps or the, go to their favorite distributor and order it, then they'll, they will then have it in their store when, when it's available so that you can buy it from your favorite shop. That would be super awesome. Uh, this has been fun on a Mother's Day to be able to jump in here. Uh, you'll see now on the next couple of days, I have got the last Wednesday block, Block Wednesday, the last one will release. Uh, we have the Orifil block of the month that will release. The charity block will release. Um, I had a newsletter go out today, so look in your, mail, your email for that. So all these things are going on, and then I will be heading to the trade show. So they're all going to be happening early. That way, when I'm at the trade show, I don't have to worry about trying to troubleshoot anything that might you know need troubleshooting because I will be doing a lot of things there thank you so much for being here I thank you for using all of my links to do your purchases this supports Greg and I and our small family business when you buy with our links and you can buy anything if you click the link you can buy anything at that store no matter where the link takes you I get credit for anything you put in your shopping cart so I appreciate that so much I uh, appreciate all your support and happy Mother's Day I'm Pat Sloan I'll see you online <laughs>